Ah, what a beautiful morning. Just to get out, stretch the legs, and go for a walk. You know what? Today's a good day to go fishing as well. I'm so close to getting a conduit, all I need is some Nautilus shells. I'm feeling lucky tonight, let's go. So let's throw my rod out in my barrel, and I'll get fishing. And so I fished all night in the hunt for the Nautilus shell. It broke into the next day with no luck, so I kept on fishing, in hopes to find it. But luck just wasn't on my side. Into the third night, contemplating about life, I wondered to myself, how do seashells grant the power of the underwater depths? Oh man, I've been fishing for so long. Where is it? I just want- Oh my god, was that it? <laughs> it took me all night to find it, but I got it. I have the heart of the sea and a nautilus shell. So you know what that means. I'm gonna go make a conduit. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo, we got a shell. Get out of my way, doors. Uh, crafting table, come here, come here. Okay, put that there, this there, and that there. And, and, and that's it? Yep, okay. Oh yeah. I got it guys. I got the conduit. Yep, conduit. And I have some prismarine. So you know the time that is. Oh yeah. Back to the water as quick as I can with the stinky fishes. Yes, that's right. I got a conduit. Oh. So now I'm gonna place it underneath the water and have the water breathing effect, the light, oh, what is it? Night vision effect? Yeah. Ah. Oh. So yeah, also, showing off my little bridge, um, my bridge, my little wharf here. Uh, it does get a little, uh, glitchy because of the slabs, not slabs, trapdoors, that's the word. Words are hard. And I got some little player heads, they look nice here. I got some candles, so I end up snipping up some of the beehives up in the little flowery area up there. Got some secret sheep there. But yeah, I did some fishing, got some... Nautilus shells, got a little thingy here, I've collected a bunch of things. And now I just need to figure out where I'm going to put it. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just going to put it maybe underneath here. Let's give it a go. So during today's episode, I'm thinking I might build a melon and pumpkin farm. That is my plan. I wanted to build them a couple episodes ago, but... Uh, I'll get to it eventually, and that eventually is today. Did I mess it up? One, one, cross. I built that one too high. So I place that there, place that there, and then I break this. Okay, I gotta do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. I can now breathe underwater. Gotta finish it up. Yeah, it's a melon and pumpkin farm. I'm gonna build that underneath the area today. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a giant build. So I've been collecting a couple redstone resources and stuff. Oh no. Well here's another thing. I need to build I need to go get two more of these. And what I was doing, I got some buckets. I need to go get some milk. Because I need to go find another guardian temple. Just grab a couple. So I've actually claimed in the very first episode, I'm pretty sure it was. These are my home management, so these are all the places I can teleport to. Guard, which is Guardian. My own little Guardian temple. Obviously the milk is if I get the Ancient Guardian that does the mining thing I can't do. Words are hard, they're really hard. Two, two I think is all I needed, I'll just grab one more just in case. And then let's head back home. Slash Betty Buys. Not bad. I can spell, I swear. Wow. Just as I left. Oh, I got a bucket of milk. Yep, melon and pumpkin farm. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. And then I might also do a couple extra... Well, I say extra. I might do a couple other builds and stuff. I'll see how the episode goes for today. But yeah, it's like... Still got my trees and stuff. I want to kind of bring this place a little bit more to life. So I want to throw some more trees in. Obviously my custom build trees. And just throw some other stuff in here just to make it more alive. And when I'm bothered, I will actually turn that guardian temple into a guardian farm. And get like prismarine, get some sea lanterns. 
But that's at a much later date. That takes a lot of time. Oh. <laughs> There's a hole there for me filming the intro. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need a... Oh, I got the dirt. Cool. I can just place that in. Like nothing ever happened. Oh, that's coarse dirt. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to go down to where it usually is and see where I'm going to build the melon and pumpkin farm. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm probably planning to build the melon and cactus on melon. I'm saying cactus because I can see cactus. The melon and pumpkin farm around this area, but I wanted to have it pretty close to this. The only problem is my good old friend up here. The geode. So I kind of dug out a little area. So this... These geodes here, or these crystals I should say, they're so close to the edge that I lose this much space. So I'm, and then if I walk over here, it's still a decent height. So it's like, I don't know if I should have it as far out as like this or not. The only reason why I'm saying that, so like there's that much space, so that much space I can't do. So it's like, this would just be empty space. And I don't really like the feel of that. So I might push that further back, it just won't be as high. Because the amethyst will get in the way. Because I'm playing, I'm mentally thinking that I'll have the farm there, and then on this side, I'll have maybe the sugarcane farm. <clears throat> And then I have like a little walkway, the same as what I do all the way over there. So that will come down here as a strip. And then you'd run through this strip. And then on your right hand side, you'd have your melon and pumpkins. On this side, you'd have your sugar cane. And I just reckon it would be, I just reckon it would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's my thought process. I'm definitely just going to have to have it underneath the geode. Um, yeah, I've made the call, and that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> now i just got to get to more digging. <sighs> that's a lot of digging. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be back once that's all dug out. So I was caught off guard by a player called Endspits. As you can see, they run away. They requested a TP, so I accepted. They had a look around my island, and... They said it was pretty cool, and I really appreciate that. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> they threw a bunch of the gems out, and I was caught so off guard. Uh, I don't want them to despawn. Jeez. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'll throw them back to you if you want. Where'd you go? Hello? Like magic. Just disappeared. So I'm just out here chilling, collecting some ice, and uh. <laughs> got some nice cool visitors. That's exciting. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually a gift for me or whatnot. I just didn't want them to despawn. If they come back, I'll drop them back off to them. Get up there. <laughs> Alrighty then. That was nice. Thank you so much! But I'll return them. So I just thought I'd message them just in case, like, if they wanted them back. They said it's cool if I can have it. Thank you so much. And so I've dug it out. I may have missed a line. Huh, I've got to go back and fix that. Yeah, so this is as high as it's going to go. And that's, yeah, that's kind of what I meant as well about the amethysts. So I couldn't go any higher than that, but it should still be sweet. I might need to climb up that and build some stairs in there so I can get the rest of them up there. But yeah, so I'm going to have... The melon and pumpkins in there. I say in there, but I mean like right here. So I've got my little, it says glacial box. I just changed the color of it. Glacial, yeah, I can read. Words are hard. So the melon and pumpkin farm I'm kind of going to go with. Let's just grab a few pieces here and there. I don't know if I need repeaters. I'll just grab one just in case. It's kind of like the, how do I put it? Is that way? No. 
and you go the other way. Bop. Uh, come on. Place. Yeah, cool. So it's going to be like that. Then I need to split some redstone up. Need to do a bit of... Is it that? No. Give me a second. I need to remember how to build things. And then... That will be a block. And then this? Is that how it goes? No, that's not there. But that is. I'm pretty sure. So then if I do this... Yeah. Haha! -ha. And then this will be grass. And then the pumpkin will grow here. Or the pumpkin seed will grow here. It will go across. The pumpkin will land there. And then that will just push it straight off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have that built all the way across here and up. So I think that's going to be a lot of melon and pumpkin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you space melon and pumpkin separately, they grow quick. They, they grow quicker, I think. That's what most people say. But yeah, so I'm going to give that a go and I'll see how it... Well, not looks, but I'll see how everything turns out. Ta-da! <laughs> so I've built it all up, it's all good and ready to go. The only problem is I need to put the melons and pumpkins in now. Yeah, I didn't think about doing that whilst building it. That's my bad. So I'm gonna go find some melon and pumpkins. I think I have a melon and pumpkin up in my house. Let's go take a look. Melon and pumpkins, where are you? Uh, you would be in probably this chest. No, that's glistering melon. Here we go, melon and pumpkins. It's not as many as I'd hoped for, but it should work. Oh yeah, also I was just on the auction house. I may have bought a cow spawner. Hehehe. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to build... Oh, I definitely won't need this anymore. All these cows, I don't need you anymore. I got myself a spawner. I can spawn you bad boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still keep the chickens in here though. <laughs> but the spawner's for a later date. I need to plant the melon and pumpkin. Oh man, three seconds to reboot. All right, I'll be right back. All right, reboot over. I got my bone hoe. And now I just need to do this. Why is it doing it double? That's interesting. Alright, let's turn these into seeds. Give me plenty. Oh, yes. Okay, let's start off with pumpkin. Oh, there we go. I'm going to skip every second one. It's good that the water working behind it is actually making the soil wet. Okay, now let's go watermelons. Melons. Alrighty, cool. Now I'm going to need them to grow up quicker. So I'm just going to head over to where my bones are. So this is my mob drop chests. And I think bones are in this one. Nope. Bones are in this one. But yeah, check out this. 
Cool. They're pretty much all full. Let's see. Hiya. I can't even reach the top one. Eh. Eh. No. There. All full. <laughs> so many. Uh, I probably won't need that many. I'll just take two stacks, maybe. I probably won't even need that. I need to build a pathway down here so it's much faster. Just like the road over there. Grow to the fullest of the, your extent. Hello? The hitboxes on these things are so small. Oh! I just got a watermelon. Alrighty, the whole bottom row all done up. Heck yeah. Now I can do the next layer. I probably don't have to show you the next layer, so I'll cut to when the next layer's done. I did say next layer, but I end up putting the rest in. <laughs> So it's pretty full now, you just saw some pumpkins drop. My problem at the moment is I haven't actually put in any water funnel or anything. I need to put a wall up here as well to prevent this from happening. But yeah, <laughs> it's working really well. Just if I do a run through, how much do I get? That's not bad. So yeah, I just need to add the wall in or a glass wall and some water. I need to figure out where I'm going to actually have farmable items. I say that's like melon and pumpkin, sugar cane, just other things like that. <laughs> I was a little busy and I put the glass in. <laughs> and also I put some flooring in, so I've got my super speedy floors, which is amazing. End up chucking some water tunnels in. I say tunnels, but water streams. I put a little hole there that's not really leading anywhere. <laughs> so let's just see how much is in there. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Things are just raining on me now. Oh. Yeah, so I've got that set up. Now I've kind of chosen an area where I want to build where all the items and stuff go. So if I make my way down the road, I need to get more iron and stuff to finish off this little design I've gone around. Someone was selling some sea lanterns on the auction house, so I decided to buy some. So I've got some here and there spread across all the way up here. I end up building a little bit more up here. I need to do my blackstone. It's not blackstone, it's deep slate. I need to build my deep slate tile stairs across and then build out more. I'm going to need a lot of iron. <laughs> so then I get to about here. And then I, as you can see, there's a couple little chests around. Oh. No. You like full skip that whole drop. <laughs> so this is as high as the chests are going to be, and then I've kind of put this here too. So this is where the water stream is going to come up. It's going to flow right across here, all the way around to a giant square. So I'm just going to keep on looping. Yeah, so this is the highest chest, so that's what's going to be. So I'm thinking that looking at the design down there, I have the smithing table type thing, and then the stairs and stuff. So it kind of stops about here. So I have this one little gap here where I'll have something else instead of just chests, which I might put bookcases. So that's going to be a lot of bookcases. But luckily, I have villagers to deal with maybe next episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this whole wall here is going to be chests. I'm going to have like a little walk up area, oh, a little walk up area where I can come and collect all my items that drop from my cactuses, maybe some sugar cane, the melon and pumpkin, just all the other drops I can think of. So maybe I might even build a bamboo farm, but I've been building a lot of farms. So I think next episode I'll either build something or maybe even do with the villagers. Cause you know, villagers take a long time to do stuff. <laughs> so I need to hook up the tunnel here to the tunnel that I have set up over there. Oh. I say tunnel, but the little hole that I have set up over there to flow into this and then build up all these chests, flow them all around, maybe put some item filters in there so I know what I'm filtering. I don't know if I'll actually have this section as item drops. I might just have this as like my personal storage. Yeah, I might just have it as personal storage. So I'm going to get to putting in a little tunnel, flow it up, flow it around, and I'll come back when it's done. And it's all in. So I've set it all up. It's all good. Uh, I'll step back and take a better look at it. So it's kind of very basic at the moment. I've just got like the andesite polished, polished andesite as like building blocks for now. I haven't set up filters yet, so if you just look, it's kind of just like flowing in. That's only the melon and pumpkin so far, so I'll probably have like these two roses, melons, these as pumpkins, yeah. 
and then I'll see how the rest go. But with that, thank you for watching this episode, if you've watched. <laughs> oh, walking backwards is so hard. I'm not used to it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! I'll eventually work on this to make it look much better than how it is. <laughs> oh, it just doesn't look... It's just so bland. Oh. I'll get to it.